Hi there people, how's it going? This is Cross Rubicon Channel. I flew into Queensland yesterday, Brisbane, and I'm actually walking along the beach right now, somewhere in Queensland. And um, when I arrived yesterday morning, 10 past 8, touchdown 10 past 8 a.m., and uh, I was pulled in by Border Force. And they checked my passport. I've got a New Zealand passport. And something flagged. The man on the computer calls his supervisor over. I hope you can hear me because it's a bit windy. Calls his supervisor over. She comes over. Can you please follow me, sir? She says. So she takes me to another bloke. And he starts questioning me. Have you ever been in trouble? But the police, have you got any convictions? No, no. Have you had any police visits? Any chats with the police about anything? So he's asking me these questions, and I'm thinking, why on earth are you pulling me in? I'm, I was the only person on the plane that was pulled in, on that particular plane. And it was like 90% full. So. He wasn't happy with my answers. So he says, right sir, I'm gonna do a police check on you in New Zealand. Please go over there, take a seat. I'll be about half an hour, 45 minutes. That was nice, I was courteous. And uh, did him on the rock the boat. I'm only here for a couple of weeks. And um, so, he checked on the computer, done his thing, and then he comes back. About half an hour later or so he says right he says uh, you're clean no convictions no trouble with the police whatever and he said however we're going to search your bags okay so he takes me off somewhere else so I go off somewhere else there's three or four other people there from other planes who'd been there for hours and um, I wait there for about an hour or so to be fair, they were pretty courteous, but uh, I have no doubt that my passport was flagged. Why? I don't know. Because I'm not a criminal, I've committed no crime. You know why it's flagged. So anyway, um, I wait there for an hour or so before they even look at my bags. So, have you got a phone? They said. I said, yeah, I've got two phones. I've got one with a SIM card, the other one is my old phone. It's got a lot of contacts on it, I've stopped moving them over yet. And they said, right, we want to take your phones. And I said, why? We want to see what's on them. And I'm thinking, oh my God, oh, okay then. There's nothing on them anyway. Give them my PIN numbers, and uh, off they go. So my phones were gone for an hour. So they went through my bags, going through my phones all at the same time. And, um, and then, the phones come back, an hour or so. Bear in mind, I touched down at 10 past 8 in the morning. They come back, an hour or so. And uh, it's okay, the phones are clean. Nothing in your bags. Police check comes back clear. However, we're going to fingerprint you. I said, fingerprint me? I said, why, why are you going to fingerprint me? What have I done? Have I committed a crime here? Am I, am I a common criminal? And I said, oh no, sir, sir, it's part of the procedure, you know, you'd be picked, you've been picked at random, blah, blah, blah. I thought, yeah, sure I have. So they take me off again, and because my, my mate was waiting outside the airport, it was quite a warm day yesterday, and he'd been there for hours waiting for me. And I was just wanting to get out. So, I said, okay then, let's go. And uh, I was pissed off, but I didn't show it. They take me off. And I sat in a chair and a big professional camera it was right in my face. I sit there, look into the camera, sir. And uh, they took a photograph of my face. I'm not sure, wrestlers, I'm not sure about all that kind of stuff. And, um, and they fingerprinted me, took my fingerprints. Thank you very, thank you very much, sir. Uh, welcome to Australia. The point is, why was I? 
treated like a common criminal when, well, they said themselves, I've got no criminal history. Uh, my police check was completely clear and yet I was pulled in and treated like a common criminal. Is it normal? I'm asking you, you can tell me in the comments. I would say, no it's not. But anyway, I went through there and I'm here now, maybe a week, two weeks, three weeks, who knows, who cares, I'm not really, I just play it by ear basically. Um, but it really is, it's a beautiful place, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I am. I'm somewhere in Queensland, in Queensland being seven and a half times the size of New Zealand or thereabouts. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, um, I believe, maybe wrongly, that the New Zealand government have put something on my passport and wherever I go, wherever I use it, I am to be treated this way and for why is my political opinions against what's happening in New Zealand indeed the world and I've been vocal about it and police border force um, customs whatever well as soon as they put my passport in the machine it will get red flagged and to just make life difficult for this blog because he's this that and the other i don't know but it certainly says something anyway that was my experience yesterday and i thought i'd let you know because well it's just wrong it's just wrong that someone should be treated like that when they are well completely innocent okay this is cross rubicon please like leave a comment subscribe to my channel and share this video and my personal story of yesterday oh by the way I, I i landed at 10 past 8 and i got out of there at 12 minutes sorry 10 past 12 in the afternoon okay share this video everywhere subscribe leave a comment tell me what you think see you later